Hello, this is Robin. I'd like to welcome all my new friends and the ones that have been with me from the beginning. This is Saturday, and this is going to be a Keeping It Real series. Um, as like I always start out to say, I'm not a psychiatrist, a psychologist, a social worker. Um, these are my views and my opinions. Um, not pushing anything on anybody. Um, I love your feedback, <clears throat> your emails. Um, you know, leave your comments in the comment box. I love hearing uh, other people's side to different topics that I um, talk about. This one isn't going to be very exciting. It's just kind of, um, I guess I'm going to name it, when do we say no? Or when is enough enough? Um, a lot of my friends on my channel are suffering with um, several different illnesses, whether it's physically, mentally, emotionally. Um, you know, my question is to each and every one of you, when do we say enough is enough when it comes to surgeries and physical therapy and um, more medication and, uh, you know, more MRIs and x-rays and nerve reduction tests and, you know, whatever, uh, you know, injections in, in the back and uh, in different parts of your body that is hurting. Um, you know, a lot of Indians are dealing with arthritis, um, lupus, um, you know, all kind of different uh, medical issues and, you know, depression and uh, that sort of thing. Um, you know, when do we, when should we say enough is enough? Um, you know, how many surgeries do they feel that they could do on one part of your body before they tell you, oh, well, there's nothing else we can do? Um, you know, do you continue to allow them to do the surgery? Um, do you say no? Uh, you know, you've already did two or three surgeries on one part and it's never been the same sense and um you know do you just let them continue to try to fix something that seems to get worse each time they try to do it and um i mean i'm talking about myself but i'm also talking about you know my friends on my youtube channel um have you ever just said no have you ever just gave up um, do you try the older home remedy, remedies that you may know of or that your mom or grandma or someone might have said something to you about? Um, do you just continue trying, you know, like if you have with your joints and things, do you just continue trying the Bengay and the Icy Hot and the patches and, you know, the Tylenol and that kind of stuff? Um, I'm just so, uh, confused over this, uh, issue. Um, you know, sometimes I wonder, are they doing a lot of this for the money? Um, you know, and I am so claustrophobic. I mean, like, seriously, I... <laughs> When they told me I needed another MRI for my neck and my shoulder, I took, like, an anxiety attack. Um, I don't, you know, I don't know what it is. I know it's all in my head. But when you're the one going through it, it's not, it's not fun. Um, so I'm, this isn't like a downy Debbie video or whatever you, they call it. You know, it's just, um, I'd like you your opinions and your thoughts on this subject because I'm sure a lot of you are going through different medical 
uh, and physical problems with, um, you know, we're all getting older and um, our bodies, even though our mind may not feel like we are, our bodies is telling us, you're getting too old, you need to slow down. <laughs> Um, but, you know, my fear is what's going to happen if they find a pinched nerve in my neck and in my hand and my fear, what if they tell me that I can't work anymore and I just started this job like three or four months ago. Um, it's just a scary situation and it's hard, um, sometimes I sit and think, why do I sit and boohoo about things whenever I hear other people going through worse things than me? But I guess when it's physically happening to you yourself and you are the one that has to deal with it, um, it does become stressful and it does feel very overwhelming. But um, I just, you know, I wanted to touch base on this subject. I don't think I've ever kept, did a Keeping It Real series on this subject. Um, so let me know in the comment box, you know, below. Um, I know you can't give me, I mean, you could give me your advice, but I know when it comes right down to it, it's got to be up to me and what I decide to allow them to do to me. Um, a lot of you already know, and not to keep repeating myself, but there are some new members of our YouTube family that don't know that I've had three rotator cuff surgeries on the right, one on the left. Uh, I had wrist surgery. I had two carpal tunnels on the left hand and one on the right, and now they think I might need another one on the right. So, um, yeah, you know, it's, I mean, I'm, I'm not going to cry about it. I've already cried about it. I've already took uh, an anxiety attack over it. Um, I don't like to think of being uh, in that much pain again, but it always seems like it gets to where the pain is so bad, I just want them to do something to relieve it. And it seems like the cortisone injections doesn't work. They have me on an anti-inflammatory medication and it's not working. And um, a lot of the insurance companies are coming back and saying, well, we want you to go through six weeks of physical therapy before they're allowed to do the MRI. And I can't imagine doing anything other than what I'm doing now with my arms and my neck and things because it hurts so bad there's days I can't even sleep. So, um, let me know some of your problems that Yuns are going through and, um, what, you know, what is your opinion on, um, these type of issues and, you know, when do you feel that you should say no, enough is enough? Um, so anyway, I hope I hear from each and every one of you that watched this, I hope you like this kind of video. If you did, maybe you can give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, please do. Um, and again, my email and my address is under every description box. If you would like to email me, I would love to hear from you. I will get back to you. Um, leave comments. And um, I hope you enjoy the Keeping It Real series. Um, again, you know, I am going to try to do a different one every Saturday, and I've got a lot of different ideas. Um, thanks. Uh, you know, the last giveaway I gave, I did, was uh, one of the things to do and to enter it was just to leave a... Um, comment in the comment box below on a subject that you thought would be good for a Keeping It Real series. So um, I am writing them down and eventually each person that left a comment, a topic in the comment box, um, I will let you know that that's what you left and that I'm going to do a Keeping It Real series on it and then I'm going to do a shout out uh, if you have an active channel. So um, 
I'm going to stop this here. And uh, just gives you a lot to think about, you know, how far do we allow them to go with, with our bodies, you know. And I know it all depends on different circumstances. Uh, if it's like, you know, if you need a pacemaker or, you know, heart surgery or something uh, drastic, then you really don't have a choice. You, you, you know, you should get that done. Um, but I'm talking like carpal tunnel surgeries and rotator cuff surgeries and, you know, back surgeries and neck surgeries and things that they are able to maybe do more than once or twice on your body. But anyway, I hope you have a wonderful Saturday and take care till we talk again. Bye.